Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. Today we're unboxing the September Sew Sampler. If you're new to Sew Sampler boxes, they're monthly sewing and quilting subscription boxes. They're $24.95 a month plus shipping and you get a ton of fun supplies inside. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside this month's box. The theme for this month is Life is Sweet. Again, this is the September 2022 Sew Sampler box. And then on the back side, there is a 30% off coupon for pins and needles. I also have an insert of everything that is in my box with the retail prices and instructions on how to use them. So we're gonna start off with our block of the month for the Bliss Quilt Along. This is block number six. And this is a cute one. This was designed by Joanna Figueroa for Fig Tree Fabrics. And here is the completed block. I believe Fat Quarter Shop are posting their finished blocks. So you might wanna check them out to see what they look like in real life. But this one's very cute. And then I believe you can get the pattern for these blocks after the boxes have released. Um, you can buy them on the Fat Quarter Shop website for $4.98. You might have to wait until the entire series of blocks is, is released, but I can't remember, so check their website. All right, the first thing in my box are these thimble pads, and I will say that I have used these before. I use these when I'm doing English paper piecing and sometimes even cross-stitching. These are thimble pad leather adhesive thimbles. They retail value for $8.48, and they are sticky on one side, and then you they're kind of like this leather grippy on the other side. It says, get rid of needles, pricks that stem from hand sewing. Each thimble pad is a reusable adhesive pad that is tough enough to be handled with the heaviest of needlework, but comfortable enough you'll forget it's there. Stick them to any hard surface and have them conveniently within reach. And actually what I do is I put them on this finger kind of right here that because that's the one I sort of use to push my needle through and then when I'm done I peel them off my finger and I just stick them on the outside of my little case that I keep my needles in that way I can reuse them so I'm not just using a fresh one every time I have to stitch and they do stay sticky for quite a while um, and they are really natural feeling there is a little bit of a ridge that is on there that sometimes I will catch the needle on but I mean that's just a small little side thing. I don't like using regular thimbles, so these are actually my favorites. The next thing in our box is this ergonomic seam ripper. This is by Fat Quarter Shop. It values at $4.98, and it says this essential notion is cute beyond, oh, bee leaf. <laughs> this ergonomic seam ripper features a soft cute cushioned handle that goes easily in your hands and a protective cap to keep the needle tip protected. It cuts threads, easel, threads easily, and the color is cute enough to leave it out even when you're not daisy chaining stitching daisy chain stitching so here it is up close it does have this little cap to protect the needle and then this aqua portion is kind of tacky almost like rubber feeling and then this is like a plastic and so i actually do really like it it is nice and kind of comfortable to grip. If any of you have used the seam ripper, let me know below. I've never used this one. I actually tend to use my Clover seam ripper. It is one of my favorites, but this one's really nice and I'll have to give it a shot. Now I will say that we got a seam ripper, I think in the last box. So I'm kind of, it's weird to see like another seam ripper. The other one we got was the light up one. Um, and I do like that one. So I don't know, it's kind of weird that they sent a second seam ripper. All right, the pattern for this month is really cute. This is called the Sweet as Honey Quilt Pattern. This retails for $9.98. This is by Fat Quarter Shop. It says this pattern will turn out just as sweet as it sounds. The Sweet as Honey Quilt Pattern is built with blooming star blocks that are 10 inches square, oh, 10 inch square friendly and comes in two size options. So sweeten it up with the exclusive Sweet as Honey Daisy Fields 10 inch short stacker in this month's box. And this comes with 38 by 49 and 72 by 72 sizes on the back just like this. It is super cute. It's a single block pattern, so very easy, and their instructions are full color and um, nice illustrations, so very easy to put together. All right, our next item, and I'm really excited to try this because I've never used one of these before. This is a magnetic seam guide by Fat Quarter Shop. It's $4.98, and it says this magnetic seam guide will get you buzzing to sew more. This nifty notion is strong, easy to use, and can be used on most sewing machines with metal parts. Simply measure and place it on the throat plate along your desired seam allowance parallel to the presser foot and you're ready to sew. My Juki is metal so I think that this will work on it. Um, I have never used one of these before so we'll have to see. I mean as long as it's not like moving around and stays put I think this would be a great addition to my sewing machine. Let me know if you've used one of these in the comments below. 
All right, and then last but not least is the fabric in this month's box. And this is the Sweet as Honey Daisy Fields 10 inch short stacker. And this one retails for $19.98. And it says, everything is coming up daisies with this sweet fabric from Riley Blake Designs. Daisy Fields by Bev McAuliffe adorns sweet daisies and honeybees with modern geometrics and inspirational quotes. This 18 piece Sweet as Honey Daisy Fields short stacker is a beautiful mix of all the prints, shades of honey, mint, teal and navy that will make you dizzy with delight. That's everything that came in this month's box. I have to say, I feel like there was sort of less stuff in this box. It was a little bit empty and things were jiggling around. So, um, you know, I don't know. And then I did get that duplicate seam ripper. So I do love, I think everything else in the box um, and their value does kind of vary from box to box. So for the most part, you're getting around 50 to $60 worth of value out of every box. Um, so it's still a pretty good deal. I'm just not, this might not have been my all time favorite box. I did add everything up for you. The value for today's box is $53.38. And because I'm probably not gonna make this quilt, I am gonna be doing a giveaway for the pattern and the fabric in this month's box. So in order to win today's box, make sure that you leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite fall recipe is, whether it's like, you know, a savory or sweet dish, doesn't matter. You can't put a link because YouTube will flag it and not let your comment go through. So just leave the name and maybe where you got it from um, without putting the actual link to the website. That way we can all get some good inspiration for our fall recipes. Number two, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you like this video. That really helps me out and lets me know to keep making these videos for you. And number three, US only. Shipping's really expensive right now, so I'm sorry, I do have to keep this to US only. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps me out. And you can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. That's gonna be it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing, what are we unboxing? Easy to be use, Tuh. easy to use, parallel to the, thanks Jax. Sorry, camera's moving, Jax has joined us. So, let's open her up and see if it really is ergonomic and soft. Ooh, it is. All right, and here we go. Oh, my favorite part, this is hard to do. So to win this month's box, leave a comment below. What should we do?